Hi, my name is Jim Bennett. For the next few moments, I will show you how easy it is to install a stainless steel wire balustrade. First, let's examine the components you will need. You will need two suede terminal studs, one that is left-hand threaded and the other that is right-hand threaded. You will also need a left-hand countersunk timber insert and a right-hand countersunk timber insert. These are what the suede terminal studs screw into. To secure the countersunk timber inserts into your posts, you will need a 6mm hex head driver. Last of all, split grommets if you desire. The wire we will use will be 3.2mm by 1 by 19 construction. Start by making a drilling template from a scrap board. In this case, the wire will be at 80mm centres to comply with the BCA regulations. As shown, mark out the required number of 80mm spacings. Next, mark the middle of these lines. In this case, a tri-square is being used to transfer this distance. Once you have done all the marking out, you may drill out your template using an 8.5mm drill bit. Measure the centre of your anchor posts, ready for attaching the drilling template. Again, a tri-square can be used to transfer these distances if you wish. Having clamped your drilling template onto your post, drill a 8.5mm hole that is 40mm deep. A handy tip is to put a piece of tape on the drill. This lets you know that you have drilled to the correct depth each time. Next, place the 6mm hex driver bit in a slow rotating drill and proceed to screw in the countersunk timber inserts. Remember that the drill must rotate clockwise for the right hand threaded inserts and anti-clockwise for the left hand threaded inserts. The face of the countersunk timber insert should finish flush with the timber post. You are now ready to drill out your intermediate post for the wire to pass through. Start by measuring out the centre of the post as shown and then transferring this distance onto your post so you can correctly position your drilling template. Once you have clamped your template to the post, you are ready to drill. Remember, if you will be using grommets, you will need to drill with a 9mm diameter drill bit. After you have drilled from one side of your intermediate to just over halfway, reposition the template on the other side and drill. This way you will be certain of your wires entering and exiting the post in the correct position. The next step is to correctly measure the length of the wire required. Start by measuring inside to inside as shown and as a general rule subtracting 55 millimeters from this measurement. This is the length you will cut your trial wire to. Once you have cut the wire, you will need to attach a left hand terminal stud 
on one end and a right hand terminal stud on the other end. Start by placing the stud in between the jaws of the mini hydraulic crimper and turning the pressure knob clockwise. Pump the handle to squeeze the jaws together whilst holding the stud in position. Next, firmly push the wire into the stud and then continue pumping until a crimping pattern is made on the stud. This should be the same as the sample supplied. It should be noted that the faces of the jaws do not need to touch for this to happen. Rotate the pressure valve anti-clockwise for the jaws to release and remove the swage fitting. It is exactly the same process for the right hand threaded fitting. In this case it is coloured black. Firmly push the wire into the stud and then continue pumping until a crimping pattern is made on the stud. Rotate the pressure valve anti-clockwise for the jaws to release and remove the swage fitting. This should be the same as the sample supplied. First insert the wires through the pre-drilled intermediate post. You have removed the lock nut first. Then reattach the lock nut as shown and screw into the countersunk timber insert. Remember to rotate the wire towards you as demonstrated. Do exactly the same on the other end. Continue to keep rotating the wire until it is firm. The final part is to use a suitable spanner to tighten the wires and to secure with a lock nut. If you wish to insert grommets into your intermediate post, you will need a 9mm hole. Open the grommet with a suitable implement, in this case we're using a biro. Hold it to the wire, remove the biro and slide the grommet along the wire and plug it into the post. Remember, AAA Metal Suppliers for all your balustrading needs.